Welcome in, 5 Minutes with Sean, maybe 10. We're kicking off the middle of October here, having some fun. I want to talk about getting outside your comfort zone, really kind of unleashing the uh, inner you, as it were. And I say this to you as someone who recently uh, has kind of done that in the world. Um, as many of you may know or may not know, uh, in, in a separate part of my life, I have uh, been a cannabis advocate and someone who has been involved in the space for a very long time. But I've always been very much in the background because I run a company, because I do things up front. I get concerned sometimes uh, along the way that that was going to somehow impact my business. But in the reality of things, um, I can't hide from it, right? It's who I am. And I allowed my uh, advocacy to be in the background, be quiet, you know, be able to do things and, and be fortunate enough to be able to do things from the background and, and help try and make an impact and do stuff. Um, but but to me, it was more than that. And that's why we launched off and we started the podcast um, in general, uh, Cannabis Conversations. If you haven't checked it out, you know, you should go do that. If you're into this space, you have any interest, um, we're trying to tell people's story and educate consumers along the way about what's really happening here. Um, with people in the industry. And, and so you, first of all, get out of your comfort zone interviewing people uh, about a topic that sure you're passionate about, but these people live it. This is their business. I mean, originally when I started, I took some flack uh, in the DMs, and et cetera, about, you know, hey, you, you don't live this, you don't know. And it's like, look, I have been living it, been in the background. Uh, I got involved in medical cannabis in 2006 in Colorado uh, as a medical grower. So to me, this isn't like new to me. Um, what is new to me uh, is obviously legalization. I, I've been running my business over here this way and watching this from afar over here. And now the two worlds, I've decided to collide them. Um, and so, again, on this idea and this notion of getting outside your comfort zone, uh, I've been going to automotive conferences for two decades. That, that's not weird to me. Um, but recently in this last year, I've started to attend cannabis conferences as press, which, again, is weird to me because – we show up at an automotive conference as sort of a talking head, someone who's either going to be speaking or holding court or, or part of a panel, whatever the case is. And so, you know, it's it's really kind of it's it's easy. You don't have to really think about it, right? You go there, you know the steps, you know what to expect. Well, this deal, this deal is a little bit different um, because again, I don't really know anyone. Uh, I've met people through LinkedIn, through social media, et cetera. Uh, I've tried to make those connections. I've been working on it for years in the background, as I say, trying to strengthen those holds that if I decided to move forward with something, I would have some great allies, which has proven to be the case um, to do it. But still, you show up to these shows and first of all, you think you expect you know what to expect because you've been doing it in a separate industry. It's false, right? And each of these last three events that we've attended have sort of each time stepped up the game, stepped up the level of uncomfort so the last one we were at was downtown chicago it was a financial conference uh we were one of the first podcasts they'd ever allowed as press so it was sort of wild to think about and get into and start to really start you know delving into this idea that there wasn't there wasn't going to be a stage for us there wasn't going to be somewhere set up where people knew where to find us um we're guerrilla marketers by trade so the hat the logo it's always there so in the cannabis world we do the same thing we put on the t-shirts uh, we have a great little handy mic and a little portable TV set, you know, as far as our camera setup, I mean. Um, and so it, it works and we have fun with it. And that's the point of it is that, uh, but my first, you know, the first couple of shows, I, mean, I would say even the beginning of the third show, I was still a little bit reticent. I was slow to really get into the concept of the content, right? So like uh, we have our guy, our head of social, Jeff Hunter. This is what he does. He gets invited to events to create content blow up the press about a vehicle, about a this, about a that. And so for me, it's weird, right? It's very weird for me to do. Um, but I've really, really enjoyed it because I've been able to talk to people who have passion, who have knowledge, who have skin in the game as it relates to, you know, look, in our lifetime, uh, Prohibition only really existed with alcohol conversationally. And so to watch the prohibition of cannabis sort of start to deteriorate state by state, and make these certain moves and do these certain things has fascinated me forever. I mean, the reason I got into medical cannabis is because I, I realized it was a thing. It had been on the books for a while and we had gotten into it, right? So again, outside my comfort zone, I had never grown a, a plant in that scale. I'd never done anything like that, but I took the time to learn, understand it, take lessons from people, be handed down knowledge uh, as that works. So again, the, the, the comfort zone thing there uh, is big, right? So, so that's 
that's what I tell people a lot that come to me and they say, I want to do this or I want to do that. I want to try this. And I say, look, if you're going to do it, just do it. Just give it a shot. Jump off the board, right? And, and, and put yourself out there for the opportunity that might exist for you to uh, learn something new, be, be better at something you didn't know you could be. Um, and so, again, I've interviewed hundreds of people. I've done this. But in that space, there's this, I noticed by the end of the time, I had like a mark on the inside of my hand because I was gripping my mic. All these interviews I'm doing with like a little hand mic and I had it. I didn't realize my knuckles were white. No real reason except for the fact that I, I didn't notice it. Um, but it was it, it must have been sort of that uh, that anxiety, that 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 here and now. Now, does it make it easy? Uh, you know, people are like, oh, cannabis events, you know, you can consume. Well, uh, full disclosure, cannabis automotive, that makes no difference to me. Uh, Dave Foy will tell you a great story if you ask him about the last time. Uh, I was in Vegas with him and Michael Barrich. If you if you know Dave Foy, you ask him what I'm talking about. He'll uh, he'll tell you all about it. Um, but the point is, is that that part of me has never changed. I've always been using this plant to medicate um, and and do what I do with it. And so that's been how I grow what I do with my life. Um, but it is great to be in a city like Chicago and have it not be a judgmental thing, not have it be something that isn't um, outside the norm. However, I will say this, and I will take it a step further. Um, um, after parties in our lives, even in Vegas, after legalization for automotive, the Vegas parties were still checking, you know, checking your pockets, making sure you have cannabis. Like this is a legal plant. They had legalized, but consumption of it is not legal. And that's a lot of things people don't understand in, in some states and Nevada is one of them. Uh, so they have to have lounges and all this other stuff. But the point is, is that at this, at this cannabis event in Chicago, there was an after party that was a cannabis consumption event where that's what was happening. And that's, to me, made a ton of sense. But again, for me, it was going outside my comfort zone. You walk into a room of people who, they're in an industry, right? Like when we walk into automotive, we know a big, wide hug worth of people. In this space, I walk in here like this, well, like this, because the logo's here. But the window is really small there. So again, you, you walk in, you're kind of slightly more you know, slowed it to engage than maybe you would be. And every time we're breaking out of that, every time we're doing more. And so I expect that to be the case. But I will tell you, getting outside your comfort zone is not going to be easy. We talked about it when we put on Being Social in Madison recently. It's not easy to just hit the record button, put yourself on that. But once you do it one time, two times, 10 times, 100 times, you don't really think about it, right? I mean, this is like the 300th time people have seen a video with me sitting here talking nonsense. It happens. It's okay to hear negative feedback. Just remember about feedback that it typically feedback is someone expressing their own concerns potentially about their own shit. Okay. That's not, I'm not here to be a therapist, but that's what I'll tell you about nasty comments. All right. So, so do yourself a favor, get outside your comfort zone, really embrace who you are and, uh, and go out there and have the best day that you possibly can. All right. We will see you next week on the show. I want to talk to you about the one of the founding values of Car Biz Done Better. Have a great week. We'll see you again next time.